Yes, yeah, Sophie, good afternoon, everybody. It was a pretty disappointing summer for Scotland and Northern Ireland, so I thought I'd look back at yesterday. Look at this, 18 Celsius, warmest place in the country in Glasgow, and they had nearly 11 hours of sunshine. By complete contrast, a miserable end to the afternoon, wasn't it? Across central and southern areas, with the Dorset coast right over towards Suffolk, seeing an inch and a half of rain in a short space of time, which caused some issues. I'm pleased to say, though, that that area of low pressure is now swiftly marching its way over towards Scandinavia, and things are a little bit quieter but there's still quite a sting in its tail down towards France and across the Alps a real stormy spell of weather still from that area of low pressure now for the rest of us though today it does look as though it'll be quite quiet with sunny spells and a scattering of isolated showers and with that low moving off into Scandinavia the isobars opening up a light breeze and that means that some of the showers pretty slow moving merging together for longer spells of rain to the extreme northwest of Scotland so here a little more disappointing a scattering of showers into Scotland and Northern Ireland and top temperatures perhaps of around 15 or 16 degrees. Across to northern England, we'll see some sunny spells, a few isolated showers perhaps into the northwest and one or two to the southwest. But in comparison to yesterday, a much better afternoon. A light breeze, feeling quite warm in the sunshine. Highs pleasant enough up to 19 Celsius. Now, as we move through the overnight period, the showers in the far northwest, they drift their way into northern England. At the same time, we pick up the risk of some showers in the southeast, some of these possibly thundery. Generally speaking, temperatures around around 9 to 12 degrees, but where we get some clearer slots in rural spots, maybe a little chillier. But tomorrow, the emphasis is on the showers across England and Wales. Some of them heavy, some of them slow moving with some hail and some thunder in there. Further north, slightly quieter and temperatures similar values to today, really, at around 14 to 19 degrees, unless you get caught in one of those sharp, thundery downpours. But I'm pleased to say, once we've got these two showery days out of the way, high pressure set to build and stay fair for the weekend. This weather front threatening by the end of play on Sunday, but generally speaking, it'll be pleasant enough. Maybe chilly first thing in the mornings, maybe a bit of a misty start like this image behind, but the sunshine will get to work in the afternoon pleasant enough. So Saturday, certainly the better of the two days. Very nice indeed, just a light breeze, lots of dry, sunny weather in the offing, and again, feeling quite pleasant in the sunshine with highs of 19 or 20. By Sunday, we start to pick up more of a breeze out to the west, more cloud and rain gathering into Northern Ireland by the end of the afternoon, drier and brighter further east. Sophie. Louise, thank you. A reminder now of our main...